With all the amazing technology and features aside, customers and prospects often ask, what's it going to take to get started? So in this demonstration, it's to show you how to perform in setting up a brand new company in Dynamics 365 Business Central. So to do that, what we'll do is create a new company. We'll configure the company. I'll show you how to get started and then eventually migrate data. So let's begin. I'm logged into Dynamics 365 Business Central. Uh, let's go ahead and the first thing I would recommend we do is we select on the Alt Q on your keyboard or just take advantage of the quick search functionalities and what you're looking to type in is for companies. I'll select companies and by default you see I have two companies already configured. Uh, these are the sample companies come with the trial account. I want to go ahead and create a new company. So then what I do is I just follow the wizard that helps uh, the assisted setup and I click on next. I'll enter in the company name. In this case here, I'll select Kronos USA Company 1. And I'm going to use the uh, production. So this is going to be a live company, not a test company. And I'll select Next. And I'll just follow the prompts, and I'm finished. And that was it. I created a brand new company within Dynamics 365 Business Central. I need to configure that company. So once it's completed, I'll uh, select it by opening. And it'll give me a warning that says, hey, this is uh, going to start your 30-day trial. I'm OK with that. I accept the terms and conditions. And I'll start the trial. And then finish. The company setup, I'll need to put in a little bit more detail, such as the address, my zip code, uh, as well as if you have a company logo, as this will be displayed on the uh, customer and vendor documents. Put in the additional details, select Next. And then I can choose whether or not I want to select the uh, bank feed service or not. I'll have that enabled. If I do select the bank, I just need to choose my bank, put in the username and password, the credentials. Uh, in this case here, I'm not going to show you my personal account. Uh, but again, that's how you would set up the bank feed. Then the next step would be to uh, specify the starting date, your fiscal year period. And then I click on Next. And then choose whether or not, uh, or I should say what inventory methods, whether it's FIFO, LIFO. Uh, I'll choose here FIFO, and that's it. So effectively, I've created a new company, and then we've configured it. The next step I need to do is show you how to get started. So here's a brand new company. I don't have any sales orders. I don't have any overdue sales amounts. I'll scroll down. And under the business assistance, area of the home page. Uh, we provide a section that gives you some guidance on how to get started both uh, from the help. Uh, so I can either read the online help, I can watch the videos, or I can even trigger off the assisted setup to reconfigure, say for example, uh, information about uh, migrating the, or getting the tax data set up. Close that out. And then the last step is how do I migrate business data? There's a number of different ways in which you can import data into Business Central. For this demonstration, uh, we're going to use the Excel method. So to migrate that uh, data, you'll see here under the Setup and Extensions, the submenu is called the Assisted Setup. You'll notice here that uh, my company has been complete, so I have a complete status. The next step would be to migrate the data. I'll select Next. And just to show you a couple of different options at time of recording, uh, there certainly could be more, but some of the options in which you want to import. Uh, in my case here, I've downloaded the appropriate template for Excel. Uh, if you have not, here's the option to download it. I'll select on Next, go ahead and bring in that Excel file. So in this case here, I have customers, vendors, and items, all of my master records that I'm going to go ahead and migrate. And again, it's obviously a small subset for our sample company. I click on Finish, and now that process is complete. And just to walk you through what we brought in from Excel, you can see I brought in uh, customers. If I click on the items, you can see all the items in inventory. And, uh, and that's it. So again, just a short, simple way in showing you how to uh, get started by creating a new company, configuring it, and then migrating your data.